natural language processing. Our team is Carrie Zebra. Um, the objective is to construct a question answering system in which it takes a file name and the number of questions and output the, qu the number of questions and answers corresponding, um, corresponding to the file. So uh, one thing that we have done is um, we have we performed pre-processing of data. A raw input is something like this. So Albert Einstein was blah blah blah. He developed something. His work is also known for its influence on the philosophy of science. What we really want is a list of of sentences. So we parsed. Uh, we used uh, an LTK to parse uh, a given string of text into sentences. And in addition to that, we recognize the name entity of the article and replace the personal pronoun with it. Um, so our program is able to generate easy type questions, as you can see here. Uh, we have used an LTK used it to uh, tokenize uh, a string of text into sentences. We have also did some replacement with, uh, with, uh, uh, with, with the changing line uh, symbols. We also recognize the name entity and replacing uh, pronouns with it. So this is really, really easy, simple uh, uh, type, uh, uh, type of questions, but it just uh, it is, it is somewhere that to, to get or to get or project getting started. So as the, as the timeline goes, uh, we began about uh, we began several days ago, and we what we have done thus far is pre-processing data, getting the name entity of the Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia article. We did uh, sentence parsing using um, an, an LTK, in TLK. Uh, what we're going to do next in the in the next few weeks is to refine the easy question uh, generation, create parse tree, use that to uh, continue, uh, to work on generating medium and difficult questions in the future. We will also create a ranker that will evaluate how well a sentence is performing and then give the top K, the top and um, uh, highest ranked uh, sentences that we would like to uh, uh, that we would like to output. So just a recap of what we have done. We have used NLTK to parse a uh, string into a sentence, get article entity, generate easy binary questions, link article entity to personal pronouns like he or she or his or her. So what we will do next is create a probabilistic context-free uh, um, representation, use uh, like a sparse tree to represent the syntactic structure of a sentence and using such structure to refine or easy question and continue, re uh, continue uh, working building the Y question type which classified as medium and difficult. We will, in addition to this, we will also create a ranker that evaluate how well it does in terms of grammar and consensus as I mentioned in the previous slide. Uh, we might also work on refine name entity recognition, it's something that's very difficult to do and might be beyond our power. Um, but in a sentence, if multiple persons are being mentioned, we want to know who is relating to who, and that will greatly enhance the, uh, the type of questions or the type of answers that we provide in our output. So that's it. Thank you for your time.